Hey, this is Suburban Time Waster, and I'm back in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Yeah, it definitely is, Minnie. Anyway, today's been a great day, because I finally got to see the Little Mermaid live-action remake that everyone's been talking about. A lot of people I know uh, really loved it. Uh, some hated it, which I could respect more if they hated it for less stupid reasons. Hold on, let me... Did you find that last batch of potions to your liking, dear? They worked like a dream. I'm quite grateful. So happy to hear it, Angelfish. Now, if only there was a way to get rid of the biggest pest of all, of all around here. That pompous, blustering windbag. He must be referring to that insufferable know-it-all. You guessed it, Merlin. <laughs> oh well, a girl can only dream. Talk soon, my dear. I suppose everyone's been telling you that I'm the bad guy. And now I gotta go confront Ursula, who ran away from me and went into another pond. Get over here. And for some reason, this game is not letting me talk to her. Oh, come on. Going on. Finally. Oh, Ursula, I saw you speaking to Mother Gothel. Oh, you've been spying on me, have you? I wouldn't have dreamed you'd stoop as low as that windbag wizard. I'll bet he put you up to this, didn't he? Merlin asked me to see what you and Mother Gothel are scheming about. You know what? Let's give uh, Ursula the benefit of the doubt, and she might be more open. I'm just trying to prove him wrong. It's hopeless, Angelfish. The blithering fool's made up his mind. All I was doing was lending a bit of a help, of help to a neighbor. Mother Gothel needs something to keep her house free of pests, so I offered her a little tincture to take care of the problem. But I'm afraid it's impossible to get rid of the real pests around here, like that bombastic goody two-shoes Merlin. So you and Mother Gothel are friends? Yeah. Friends? Well... I suppose I don't find her company all that terrible. So yes, you might say we are. Ugh. Skiing so someone can't even socialize around here without being accused of nefarious schemes. Can you imagine? Be a dear, Corinne. Tell that pompous prig to leave us be, would you? I'll think about it. Well, it is for his own good, Angelfish. If Merlin keeps bothering me, someone might slip something into his teeth that turns him into a toadstool. Entirely by accident, of course. Well, anyway, as I was saying about the haters, well, you know that Halle Bailey's been getting a lot of trash from people for uh, playing Ariel. But I'll admit, I mean, she was actually an amazing choice. And her voice, oh my god, so beautiful. It's why they picked her in the first place. Anyway, gotta talk to Merlin. And minor spoiler for the move for the live action movie, but in the end, instead of an anime movie where Eric defeats Ursula, it's Ariel who defeats Ursula, and they're acting like, oh, it's not equal anymore because Eric's always being rescued. Which, if the genders were flipped, they would not care at all about equality. Just using that as an excuse. And they're like, how does Ariel know how to steer a ship? Because she steered the ship to run to Ursula. And well, to every idiot saying that, I just have one question for you. When you were first taking driver's ed, did you have to be instructed that the wheel in the car turns it? <sighs> if you did, then you probably shouldn't have been driving in the first place. <sighs> All right, time to talk to Merlin. Well, hello. And that purring is my cat, in case you were wondering. Well, Corinne. Have you uncovered what Ursula and Mother Gothel are scheming about? Those ingredients and vials they're trading? They must be potions, but for what? Ursula told me it was just something to get rid of the pest in the Great Willow. <laughs> ha! I find that most unlikely. She and Mother Gothel? They just seem to be friends. Friends? Balderdash! I don't buy it for a second. Ursula doesn't have any friends, just people she can use. Maybe it's just not our business? 
I say any magical malfeasance in this village is my business. <sighs> but, in the absence of proof, if you insist that there's no scheming going on, I'll leave them be for now. I only hope we don't regret this. Now then, I've con concocted a little something to thank you for your help. Here, a bit of dream I ought to compensate you for your trouble. Splendid. That's it? That was the whole thing? Did I answer wrong and end the quest early? Well, nothing bad ever happens in Dreamlight Valley anyway. It's a happy little escape game where you never get into any trouble. Let's see. Okay, five clans and five scallops for Maribel, as well as eight glass. I need 40 sand. Cook five star meals. Oh, yeah, so I gotta get that stuff for Woody. And for this, I need five glass. And I need 25 sand. 25 plus 40 equals 65. You know, let me just unlock the quest from Nala. Of course, she's sleeping. You know, this is my designated video game playtime. But when the characters are sleeping, I can't really do my, uh, I can't always unlock certain quests. It's pretty annoying, honestly. But I gotta talk to Simba real quick. Well, I've certainly gone into the unknown. Glad you're here. How's it going? Let's hang out. Mm -hmm. Sure. I always like hanging out with you. And we are going into the beach to dig. We have to stop Ursula from taking control of this valley. We're working on it. So far, she hasn't done anything that bad. I need like sixty five sand. This could take a while. Simba, was that you? I may be leveling up Simba soon on the bright side. Who knows, maybe I'll get that next quest. got the next quest. Huh. Hey, Corinne. I have something I was hoping you could help me with. I want to do something to bring everyone in the valley together. Sure, let's do it. Thanks, but I should tell you. Nala and I both want to help the valley, except we don't exactly agree on the best way to do it. She's sure that something isn't right with how the circle of life should be working. But I get the feeling it's more about community. What do you want to do exactly? Hmm. When I was a baby, all the animals in the Pride Lands gathered at Pride Rock for a celebration. And that was just me drinking my water. I'd love to do something like that here. Bring everyone in your kingdom together. If we're doing this, we better do it right. And those things are always better with food. I'm sure Remy has some ideas for what we can serve. I'll go see him. Great idea! <sighs> More recipes I gotta cook. Bye, let's hang out later. Ah. You probably got other things to do. No worries. Thanks. What are you up to today? Hey, Corinne. Huh. I'm hanging out for a trip around the Sunlit Plateau with Nala. Uh -huh. We're going to visit all our old haunts. The Waterhole, the Bendy Tree. <laughs> Is this a date? Uh... A date. A date? You know, doing something with someone you love, usually you give them flowers and chocolates. So, I should get some flowers for Nala? I don't know if she'd like that. Ah, uh, forget it. I guess it's just a silly human thing. So long. All right, let's see. Okay, I just need to talk to Remy. 
That should be simple enough. Somewhere in this quest, I might get talked to Nala, and I could talk to her about this quest and get the new one. All right, I wasn't sure where that was going. Wanted to double check. Why is he always like right near the door? I mean, really? Hey, it's you. Ah, Corin. So, what plan are you cooking up today? Simba wants to throw a gathering, and I want to bring him some food. I want something. Perfect for a large group. Okay, so we need a huge plate full of food that even a lion can eat. Oh, I've got it. A large seafood platter would be perfect. Here, take the recipe in case you still don't know how to prepare it. Thanks, Remy. Mm. And for dessert, nothing beats a monumental cake. I used to make one that would have been great, but I haven't located the recipe for it yet. I remember a call for eggs, milk, Fruit, wheat, and something sweet. Maybe you can figure out that last ingredient? Hold on, let me read that, uh... Oh, I already have the seafood platter. Okay, eggs, milk, fruit... Wheat and something sweet. All right, uh, gonna get gonna get the wheat real quick. Hi there, pal. Whoa. Buying wheat to plant wheat for the cake. And the wheat shouldn't take too long to grow. But, let's see. I forgot the seafood platter ingredients. Yeah, I dug around like a ton yesterday. And the holes have still not gone away. Something sweet, I'm thinking, might be sugar cane. How's it going? I'm gonna sell some stuff real quick. Don't need that. Or that. Sell that. I'm keeping that. I don't need this hardwood. Yeah, I know. It's just me looking at this and saying, I don't need this. I don't need this. <laughs> Alright, I forgot to buy the sugar cane seeds. Got some more money. Very little money, but still, it's money. <laughs> yes, I am now digging around for seafood. the first time and now a ton of money the second time. I hate it when
when the thing you need to pick up is right next to the thing you don't need to pick up. Alright, four more scallops and two more clams. Okay, that wasn't even a scallop. I'm just picking up random seashells and seeing if they're what I need. <laughs> Figure if they're not, I can always sell them. now lives in the forest. Let's <laughs> try to get rid of those thorns and instead I ended up... Yep, there's that little anchor thing of Daisy. Where is she? I mean, why hasn't she come to the valley yet? I mean, I bet Donald's even more bitter that he doesn't have Daisy around. So considering how toxic that relationship with was, maybe he's My magic can feel how special this place is. Maybe he's actually happier without her. Let's face it, those two are both horrible people. At least in the Disney shorts. I accidentally dug in a spot I already dug into. And maybe I was too quick to dismiss Simba. Or... Nope, no talking going on here. Sugar cane is still not grown, but I'm betting the wheat is. totally is. Bad I can't live here 24-7. Oh, come on. We've all felt that way at one point. Alright, sugar cane is still not grown. And Ursula just fell asleep. Oh, Nala's awake! Let's get her quest! She woke up a lot sooner than I thought she would.
Okay, passing Mirabelle's house. And off to see Nala. Could I talk to you? Oh, hey there. Corin, I've been scouring the valley, and it seems to have many of the things we have at home. Lots of water holes, gathering spots, and caves. What? And a few things I don't understand very well. But there's one thing missing that would make it better for lions. Do you think you could help me change that? Yes! Let's make Dreamlight Valley more lion friendly. Thank you! So in the Pride Lands, I'm in charge of finding food and keeping the Pride safe and fed. I'd like to do that for this place too. But there isn't a good hunting ground. I'll make one so you feel more at home. That would be great. This is going to help everyone. We'll need to find a stretch of flat land. Somewhere without much to get in the way. I guess Dazzle, Dazzle Beach would be the closest thing we have. Alright, we'll want to create some cover for us to crouch behind and carve some trails to help bring prey out of hiding. Oh, and there's one more thing that makes the territory good for lions. All of these sound like jokes. Industrial strength catnip? I have no idea what that is. Forget it. It was just a joke. What do we need? We need a spot we can rest at the end of a long day. A large flat rock would be best. Maybe I've got something like that, but if not Scrooge's store should. I'll check. While you do that, I'll keep scouting for danger. I'll come talk to you once I made Dazzle Beach lion friendly. Place is so Oops, I accidentally went back into the house again. Alright, let's see if that chest is still there. Yes! Lost it for a second, but I found it again. And what's in this? Yeah, I think I'll pass. Oh, scallops are light blue, of course. Wait a minute, let me check something. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to order it. All right, Scrooge. Oops. <laughs> All right, Scrooge. Hope you got what I want in stock. You should. You never leave this place. Oh my God, a seashell bed. No. Find Scrooge and get that stupid. I'm here to help. Remember, hmm, nah. Yeah, I'm getting distracted. Oh, greetings, Good day to you, Corinne. I'd like to order some items. Furniture. Well, you know, I got enough money. Wait a minute, this is just for a scar? You're kidding me. Bye-bye now. Oh, boy. Landscaping furniture, too. Yeah, this is not going to look pretty. I got 
Scar's lounging rock. Oh, I got it. I'm just gonna put these around the place. How many do I need? Seven. Yeah, I'll just put these around the place and... Yeah, I'm cheating. Alright, it's all ready for lions. Sorry, Donald. Can't help you right now. <sighs> and Donald got mad again. Yeah, I had to get that. Thanks, Woody. Well, honestly, I think I'm more the sheriff of this place. <laughs> but I'll let you keep thinking you're the sheriff. got the perfect territory set up for you on Dazzle Beach. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And now I can teach you to pounce, just like Simba and I learned to do as cubs. But before we start, you're not really dressed for pouncing lessons. You need to be protected from the heat of the sun and ready to hide in the underbush. Since you don't have fur like I do, maybe you can find some of those coverings you wear on your body. Great. I'll put on some more rustic clothes. Oh, and whiskers. We'll need some sort of whiskers. Yeah, I'm a woman. I can't grow whiskers. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I use mine to help me navigate and detect what's around me. So you'll have to find something like that. Okay, I'll make sure I'm wearing whiskers for this. Let's meet on Dazzle Beach when you're ready for your first pouncing lesson. Goodbye. Oh, God. No, no, no. I am not wearing a mustache. Ew! Oh, God. Okay, I'll put this mustache on for one second, and then I'm taking it off. No. Ugh. Well, how's that look? Oh, I know that looks awful. Just don't even tell me. Okay, now I'm taking that stupid mustache off. Now, good, now I look... What? Uh, I actually have to wear that stupid thing. Oh, God. Okay, this is officially turning into my least favorite video ever. Taking this thing off right after the quest is over. I have to finish the collection. God, it's too bad the game does not give you the option to loudly protest to wearing a mustache. 
I, mean, I like the hat. I like the jacket, but oh god. Yeah, I know. I'm complaining and complaining. But can you blame me? <sighs> My face is not built for a mustache. So ew. All right, Nala, let's get these pouncing lessons over quickly before anyone sees me like this. Oh no, Ariel did. Hi. I looked over the beach. You've done a wonderful job, Corinne. Now there are plenty of trails and pouncing spots for us. And your covering should work well. These whiskers make me feel ridiculous. They look fine to me. Or at least good enough for us to get started. We just need to lie in wait. Let me teach you how to pounce. Eh, what the hell. <laughs> Oops. I mean, what the heck. I can use all the pouncing tips I can get. It's fairly simple. You lie down flat, then leap forward when something comes along. Just follow my lead and stay quiet. I wonder why this isn't working. You do have prey here, don't you? Antelope, zebras, gazelles? Maybe a wildebeest? We just don't have many animals like that in the valley. Most animals around here are my friends. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess we make friends with prey sometimes, too. Like Simba did with Timon and Pumbaa. That does leave us with a problem, though. What will I eat? Oh, I know. You can eat fish. We've got lots of fish. I'm not too good at fishing. I don't do very well with water. Don't worry, Nala. Just watch, and I'll show you how to fish. I'm okay at it, so we'll practice together. That sounds good. I helped you learn to pounce. Now you can help me learn to fish. I'll try to catch some fish to show you how. Maybe I'll even catch a few rare or unique fish so you can see it's not so tough. Goodbye. Oh, thank God. All right, first things first, this mustache is coming off. All right, my character has a pretty face again. All right, I got one common. This is perfect for rare or unique. All right, the lobster counts. was not expecting that. That makes it a lot easier. Let's see. Ooh, another unique spot. Yeah, I dropped my I dropped my tumbler a little too uh, harsh there. You caught so many fish. I guess we have a lot to learn from each I guess we have a lot to learn from each other. But maybe we should eat first. I'm starving. Hey, that's another thing I could teach you. The art of fine cuisine. Usually, we humans would prepare fish before eating it so we could... Grow them with some nice vegetables. You're the expert. But whatever we do, can we do it fast? My stomach's grumbling. 
Don't worry. Maybe you can relax near that resting spot I made for you while I make you some food. And I'm going to just put one fish in the cooking pot for the fish meal for Nala. I know, totally cheating. Bye, Minnie, I'm going fishing. But Mickey, it's your turn to weed the garden. And you promised you'd do it today. Gosh, Minnie, I'm sorry I forgot. I'll do that first. Well, that really is sweet of Mickey. He doesn't fight or anything, just does what he promises. And trust me, trust me, I know a few men in my family would just whine and complain and gaslight it until they got their way and you were, and you were stuck doing it yourself. Oh. All right, one fuku. I wasted a unique fish on that. I'm not kidding. Word of advice, the quality of the fish does not mean you're gonna get a better meal. Wait, now where is Nala? Well, she went back home quick. Yeah, I think I'll keep the hat. I kind of like the hat. Reminds me of when Rachel wore it in Friends and Chandler was making fun of it. And she said hats are making a comeback. Then when it started raining, they all started, they all started going near her and she said, Oh yeah, now you want under the hat. This Thank looks you. great, but I think anything would look good to me right now. I'm so hungry I could eat a whole water buffalo. I know that feeling, except for the water buffalo part. May I? Enjoy. Here goes. Well, one thing's for sure. That was much better than grubs. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Now that you've helped me with the hunting grounds, I'll do what I can to keep finding food and watch out for danger. Thanks, Corinne. You're a really good friend. Ah, thanks. So are you. That means a lot. With both of us looking out for this valley, I think everything's going to be just fine. I'm so proud of you. I wonder who the ruler of this valley is and where they are. I'm the ruler of the valley, Simba. Yes, I know I've made that joke before. I call it a running gag. Somewhat of a running gag. Anyway, as anyway, uh, as you can see, we finished up Nala's quest, and well, still got a few more quests to do, but that's gonna take a while. And and anyway, oh, sorry, I'm just. Well, anyway, take a look around this beautiful valley and and do see the Little Mermaid because it's a beautiful movie. And and don't listen to the haters. Now, I'm not saying that you have to like the movie, but if you don't like the movie, please like please dislike it for legitimate reasons. <laughs> well, anyway, this is Suburban Time Waster signing out before I lose my voice <laughs> and. Feel free to like and subscribe.